Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today we're actually gonna be taking a look at this ride-on ATV designed for kids. In this video, I'll just go through some of the functions of this. Um, we'll do a, a short demo, just riding it around here in my garage. And then I'll just talk a little bit about the setup of this. So in terms of getting this up and running, um, it was fairly quick. Um, you basically attach the seat and the back of the seat here. You have the capability as well. This will actually um, completely slide out and you just connect the battery that's already all connected there. You have two doors on each side so you can easily open either of these and two children could actually sit side by side. My daughter is currently about to turn three years old and she could have you know, someone of her size easily sit next to her in this. In terms of um, some of the functions on this, you have a horn here. This actually will change some of the um, like sounds and things like that depending on what's on. When you start this up, it does have like a cool little motor revving sound. And then you also do have a legitimate drive mode, park and reverse. You also have a dump bed function. You can hit this button and this entire bed will actually tip down. So we'll demo that. Um, you can optionally add on this little shovel that they include. And then you also have a remote control that almost looks like a game console controller. And you can go forward, back, you can change the speed modes. So there's basically a low, medium, and high. And then you can also immediately put this in park as well as turn the wheels. So I really, really love having this because my daughter um, is still kind of learning this. She understands that if she pushes the accelerator that it's gonna go, but she hasn't quite figured out the turning yet. So this gives me the idea that, you know, if she accelerates and she's about to go into something, I can easily hit the P button and that will prevent her from doing that on her own. The tires are extremely rugged. We actually had some dirt um, outside, like dirt mounds we were doing for our garden. And um, you know, we brought it right through that. We just washed it off after with a hose and overall worked pretty good. So let's do a little demo here. So you can hear it kind of revs up. It then um, has a wireless connection that you can do uh, with like Bluetooth, I believe. You also have a USB and an aux here so you could connect like a music player. Um, it gives you all the controls for the music player. You also have headlights, which are pretty bright, believe it or not. Um, if I actually come around, I don't think they're, they may or may not be on. They actually are on. So you can see how bright they are coming through this. So this will even work pretty good at night. They're almost like these nice LEDs. And um, you also have the dump bed. So we'll demo that and then move around. So you can see here, if you hold this down, it'll dump pretty far. The whole back gate will actually detach if you'd like. And if you hit this again, it'll just come right back up. Uh, charging this, pretty straightforward. It comes with a cable here that's pretty long. So I usually just park it here. I have um, you know typical connection and then you have a small brick that I've got up there. So I'll usually just plug that in. It plugs right in under the seat right in the corner. So it's pretty easy. But yeah, in terms of the controls, now that this is on, you can pretty much hit forward and you can see this is basically in the fastest mode. So it gets pretty good here. Um, you can use left or right to turn this and it basically just turns the wheel. And then again, if you go into the different modes, um, this will actually change the speed. So this is the lowest speed. You can tell it's a little bit slower. And then we get to the medium speed picks up. And then if we go back, we can get the fastest speed and this is where it really picks up. So yeah, overall pretty happy with this. You do additionally have um, some different modes you can do with the music. So if you hit this D1 or D2, uh, as well as mode, it'll actually change between either telling stories or playing music. So if we hit mode. So that's the music mode. And if you hit this button, it'll change the songs. And then if you hit this again, it now goes into story mode. The fox who wanted to cross the river. The dancing monkeys. So it just kind of essentially does like story time. Wireless connection. And then you can go back to the wireless mode. So then now it's kind of your choice. Overall, very, very happy with this. I think if you're looking for something like this, definitely worth picking up. Um, you can get them in many different colors. And overall, the battery life seems to hold up pretty well. Um, I was actually able to bring it all the way down our neighborhood, um, like down to a cul-de-sac we have at the end of our road, drive for all around that, and then all, go all the way up even a mediocre hill, 
and still have plenty of battery life to go all around the yard. So really haven't had too much issues there as long as you don't go too crazy. But yeah, very, very happy with this. I think, um, again, I'll give you another like front view of this here. Um, you know, super awesome. I think this is something if you're looking for it, definitely worth grabbing.